officials in Washington should make a few New Year's resolutions since the first of the year is now hours away and so is their deadline. However, a large majority of you are going to make resolutions centered around getting into shape. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Beth Cephalou has that story. For many, another year means a new beginning with new goals. However, a large percentage of people said one thing at the top of their list, getting in shape. Go to the gym more. Diet more closely. Lose weight and get in better shape. Mike Padolino says he used to weigh over 400 pounds. And every new year, he sets the bar higher. Yeah. I don't have a weight goal set in mind. I would like to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about 210 pounds, though. You have to think of it as a change in lifestyle altogether, not just something you do one day, but every day for the rest of your life. Anytime fitness manager Brian Farley believes the holiday season is a contributor. People eat and drink so excessively over the holidays. Um, they have a lot of extra calories coming in. January is absolutely our busiest month, not only from our current members, but it's also our busiest month as far as signing new members up. Farley's best advice to keep up with your New Year's resolution is set realistic goals. It's not going to be something that's going to change in two weeks. You really need to be diligent. Uh, you need to put the time in. You need to come to the gym. You need to watch what you eat. You need to stay confident. You need to keep your eye on the prize and, and, and just keep going after it. Remember, it takes 21 days to start a new habit, so make sure you stay motivated. I'm Beth Cephalo with TV6 News in Iron Mountain.